Hi, I'm Idris. I'm working at the Manson Unit. I'm uh, the mapping guy. <laughs> so I'm going to present a, a dashboard to support almost uh, effortless spatial epidemiology. Uh, in other words, we use existing data sets uh, and we make it easily understandable. Uh, have you ever seen that? <laughs> Quite a lot, huh? <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> no, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to get what what's behind, and uh, especially when you get an update every week, you need to redo the whole job with Excel and so on. So why why is that? Uh, it's because what we are looking at is raw data, okay, and therefore it's difficult to read. Uh, but what we want is to understand the inf the information and to understand it fast. So the core idea is to move from data towards information. The data is the necessary first step, and but what we want as an output is something that is helping us to have an informed decision making. So something which takes the data and make it visual, interactive, which adapts to you, and not uh, the other way around. So let me introduce you to the Tonkoli um, dashboard for uh, for surveillance. Tonkoli is in Sierra Leone. That's one district. Um, routine epidemiological uh, passive surveillance help us detecting uh, outbreaks at an early stage. Uh, but it's a lot of data uh, collected, and sometimes uh, we, have, we struggle to, um, to uh, understand and uh, to respond to, a, to, a, to outbreaks uh, on time. So this is what the dashboard answer, and this is actually the data you've just seen earlier. So what is it? It's a tool to visualize data and extract information. You click. It reacts, it talks to you, it's designed uh, to work offline. It's a perfect fit for field work, particularly in emergencies where more robust systems are difficult to put in place on time. So what it is not, uh, it, is, it is not going to replace a standard epi epidemiological analysis nor a health information system with de dedicated uh, software. And, um, but um, that's a way to facilitate and improve our routine work at local level. So we have, uh, at the moment, three dashboards deployed, and I will only demo the one in Sierra Leone. So there you go. That's how it works. So you load the dashboard. There is a quality check on the dashboard on the data that you've got. And then when you hover over the map, you can see the number of cases per uh, uh, in that case, Chivdam, this is malaria cases we are looking at. You can see the evolution and the trends um, for each week, the number of cases uh, on top and the death below. Here is uh, under and ab above five years old. You click, it reacts, it selects automatically and adapts uh, the graphs and uh, the map as well. Then we change the disease. We look at diarrhea for the last week over five only, and then you reset the settings. You reset all the filters, and you have the um, total data for the diarrhea, um, the and then you run the animation to see what uh, is happening during that given period of time. And if you're inter inter interested, you can see also the data per year. So you will have the two uh, curves that will um, adapt to, to, uh, to each year. And then you can zoom at the, P the, the, the health center <laughs> level. You can click on each. Uh, health center, each round is a, is, a, is a health center, and then you can investigate at the health center level what has happened. So it development, it development started at the British Red Cross. It is uh, open source and available freely on GitHub. The code, the, the code can be easily reused to create another dashboard, especially if we are using the same kind of data set. In that case, this is the WHO uh, IDSR uh, integrated disease surveillance res uh, and response. Um, the cost is, is, is decreasing as the, deplo the deployment and the development um, goes. So you will say, great, another tool until the next one, of course. But actually, it's making the link between our data uh, infrastructure uh, and the future information system we're going to use, making our data management by standardizing dashboards ready for the next steps toward information management. So not providing standard, data, standard tools will incentivize using alternative and un uncoordinated, in, uncoordinated solutions leading to a slower and less effective operational and medical response. So we need to prepare for the next steps now. 
So the data is being collected anyways. So it's just not processed uh, to its full potential on time. We don't change anything. We just provide the glasses to see it through. Um, the dashboards are built for the, for the user according to their needs. And we're having great feedback from Sierra Leone and DRC so far. So what, what are we lo looking at? Uh, we're looking for other use case, collaboration with uh, more missions in the field, more health, uh, Ministry of Health, operation centers to develop it further and to secure its uh, development and sustainability. Plus, obviously, integration with the health information system or the data sets, ministries of health, logistics, and so on. So finally, we need to move uh, towards information, which answers the who, the what, the when, and the where. Don't forget the mapping component. So I would like to thank uh, the Sierra Leone mission, the uh, Sierra Leone uh, Ministry, of, this, uh, Ministry of Health at the district level, uh, the British Red Cross, and Missing Maps uh, who made that possible. And thank you for uh, you all for staying. Thank you.